Hi again, welcome to another video. And I was actually just about to do a video of a problem, my own mower. This is my own mower I use for work. It's a Honda HRH 536 four wheel version, the pro, pro model. And it's over the last couple of weeks, it's developed a shake when the blade brake clutch isn't engaged. And I was just about to do a video, just went to empty the bag and it made it, the sort of shaking sort of stopped, made a bit of a noise and um, the clutch is smoking, the blade brake clutch is smoking. So just start up very, very quickly. I'm just gonna get Laura to start it. If you engage it still, it still seems to actually be okay. I think it's pulled everything tight together. Um, I was gonna, this winter, I was gonna service service it anyway. And, um, you know, sort all that out. But um, now I'm gonna have to sort it out, <laughs> sort it out sooner. So I think it could be one of a few things. It could be the bearings, because there's bearings in there. There's um, actually the clutch plate itself, which is fairly inexpensive, I think. And at the top, there is like a little, a metal piece that I think run, if, if I remember rightly, it runs three ball bearings in there. It's possible one of them ball bearings could have come loose or got damaged or something and it's running a bit uneven. Or the other thing is, which I've had before, if the crank is slightly bent, it will wear them over time. I didn't have this mower from new, I've never hit it on anything, but it could have slightly been, not much, but it just could be slightly, um, and that's worn it over time. But the thing is, I don't really know until I take it all off. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Now I'm gonna get this blade brake clutch off and we'll have a look and see what's wrong. So hopefully this will undo the blades. Done one. Little plate there. Straight off that bearing doesn't look great in there. I can't actually pick that out, yes I can. Ah, yeah, the bearings all broke up in there. So, um, let's see what other harm is done. Keep the bolt there, central bolt. And that is what we have. The bearing started to disintegrate. So at least I know what's wrong. Um, I shall probably Replace the plate as well, clutch plate. But um, yeah, you can just get the bearings and they push out. I have done a video of it in the past, but I'll do another one now. And um, yeah, you just push them out in the vise and then put a new one in. So yeah, it's gonna be quite an easy fix. But what I shall do, I shall take everything else off and just see if everything else looks good. So we've got the plate there. I've got this piece there that comes off. I'm just putting them in the way they come off. Uh, little key right there. But I think we can be sure we know what the, the fault was. And then we have that bit there. That's what I was a bit concerned about, might be broken. I've had these break before, and then the balls go out of, um, well, they fall out, they can fall out because it breaks off there. But it doesn't look like none of that is a problem. It looks like all that is actually all quite good. I think there's another bearing in at the top, whether I bother with that one, I don't think that will be, be a problem there. I might just go for the bottom one and a new, well, to be honest, I might even leave the clutch plate because it, it wasn't um, a problem. It was um, the blade when it was uh, resting the mower, when the blade brake clutch was off, the blade wasn't moving. Um, so yeah, it wasn't really worn. So I might, I'll see, I'll see how much one is and then we'll go from there. But yeah, we know that is a cause. So what I'll do now is get everything bagged up because I've got to get some parts ordered. Well, mainly a bearing um, and then 
yeah we'll get this fixed so looking into this a little bit further at the top i was just gonna leave that in place but i sort of did down it looked like there's a bit of play in that bearing too so if i can see if it slides off and it actually does the problem is there's springs on it and the cables connected so i'm just going to disconnect the cable up the top i want to take the tension off the cable so which one is it it's that one there so just a 10 mil and that should slide out like that and then i'll just it's hard to show you but there's just a little clip underneath I'll show you when i got it out if i don't ping it <laughs> Like that and then push that out like so nearly there right that's that other part of the pin I'll actually use the pin and then we have that clip go through there so now the cable's all disconnected so now i've disconnected that at the top that cable should pull through it has i can take the cable out there so that's not holding anything and now the two springs have come much looser one's unhooked at the bottom there they're like hooked around a little 10 mil head bolts so we have them out now, so that should just slide off. Like so. And yeah, and that bit's off. So let's have a look at that bearing. Just get that like so. Is it worn? To be fair, it's not too bad, but as I got it all off, I think I'm gonna replace that bearing. The bearing that's wrecked and probably the plate as well so and it's going to be pretty pretty good again there is like a little washer there right at the top so make sure you don't lose that i'll just quickly bring you back in here i've noticed that see there that's not supposed to be elongated like that so that is the clutch plate so i'll get i will get another one there definitely so i can sort this mower out and everything should be all good so i'm trying to go on a little bit further with this blade brake clutch off of my honda hrh 536 um i've had a bit of difficulty with the part numbers it's not really it's not really my fault it's um people listed it wrong on ebay actually so what i've landed up now with is two bearings for that part and i haven't got a bearing for the top part which are um it's a bit thinner it's a bit thinner i think the hole's slightly bigger as well so i'm looking into that but i can get a little bit done i can get this bearing changed over you can see this is the one that was all smashed up so i can push that one out and put that in so at least that part will be done also that has come the new clutch plate quite a bit of meat on there let's compare that to the other old one actually and find it you can see that fair bit more meat on that one which it should be because it's new so yeah that was probably it still had some on it and it would have gone a good while but yeah while i got it all off i might as well do the whole lot and put a new one of them on i think it was about 20 odd pound this one was it's not a genuine it's an aftermarket one but looks okay i think i have used one before um so yeah let's get this bear this one bearing in so at least that that part of it is done and then um well i'll show you how to do that so let's get this one bearing done. I'm going to do it in the vise, so I'll uh, switch you around so you can watch it um, going in. The problem with, before I start, the problem I have with the vise, my vise doesn't know it's not that big, it doesn't open that wide. So it would be perfect to use like them two to push that out like that into there. Problem is my vise needs to open about an inch more. So I think I remember how I did it before. So I think I should be able to get by with what I've got. So let's see. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to push that out as far as I can push it because that is in there. You can just see it's in there a little bit. So that might give me enough room to actually get the socket in. So 
the big socket to push it into. So if I just do that, get it there, it might shake a little bit. Could really do with a bigger vise actually. And I'm looking into getting a bearing press as well. We've got it moving. It's pushed out as far as I can go. So let's see if I can do what I hope I can do. Um, I can't because you can see I've got a problem there. And a lot of people probably will only have a small vice as well. So what I'm going to do is see what I can work out to fit in there to push that out. Well, I managed to find an old spacer out of a lawnmower, which I had in the drawer. And it's a very tight fit, actually. I had to bang it with a hammer. That's a tight fit in there. But I've managed to get the big socket there. So I should, it should work. It is going to work. There we go, it's out. I hope you caught that. Um, I couldn't find it off the floor. There you go, that one's out. So now we want to get the new one in. You can see how bad that was. The worst I've seen, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we put a nice new shiny one in there. I'll just compare it. So now let's get this new bearing in. I'm just going to put it in there like so, just to sort of try to centralise it best I can. And then I'm just going to wind it in, just in a vise, and just see if I can get it to make a, a start, which has gone in quite easy there. Have you saw that okay? I said before, that's about as far as I can get it in. But I found this little piece off of a strimmer here. Little bits like that are always worth keeping because they do come in handy. Just have a drawer and just throw your little bits in and then... You want that right on... I should have shown you that, but I'll show you it when it's in. You want it right on the edge of the bear and I think I'm in near the anyway. Gone in nicely. I'll just make sure... Tight. Don't want to go too tight because I don't want to bend them. You can see that's in, and if you see that, it's exact. Actually, it might be easier to show you on the old one. That is exactly the same as the outside of that. So when I was pressing it in, I was pressing it in on the outer side, not the inner. You don't want to be doing it on the inner. You want to be doing it on the outer, and that actually is just right for that. So I should really keep that separately. So I've got it for the for in the future if I need it. So yeah, that part's done. So I'm struggling to locate that bear, and this is the top one. And I'm struggling to locate it with, I think another part number is just the companies I've asked. It all, the part number of this keeps all pinpointing towards the other bearing, which would be wrong if I order it. So I'm a bit worried about ordering it because I don't want the wrong one. So I spoke to my local mower place and they said, bring it in. They think they might have one. So I'm going to get, get out now. The, I've got this little spacer thing and that just fits in there. Like that so i'm going to do the same as i did with the other one with my hardly enough hardly deep enough vice here i hope that does it it did it's in there pretty tight and i'll put it all for there we are we're out so let's have a look let's put that to the side put that to the side There we have the bearing. I think that bearing was actually okay, but as I've got everything off, I want to put a new one in it. So now I've cleaned up the bearing, there it is, and I'm going to take that to see if I can get the correct one. Like I said, I will be looking into ordering these, so I've got some in the drawer. But um, it wasn't, it was all right actually, it didn't really need replacing. But as I've got it all off, because this is the one right at the top, I might as well change it, then I'll have both new bearings and the new plate as well. So it should be good for a good while. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. So, I inquired about this bearing, and um, I actually went to my local um, mower shop, and a new one of them is £18. So, I decided um, not to go ahead with that, because I had a route around in my drawer, and I managed to find one of these plates that looked as new, 
which I must have took off a spares mower once and the bearing was all good as well so I've decided to just use that plate which you will see when I put it back on the machine um, instead of this one but what I shall do for the purpose of the video I showed you me getting this out and I'll show you uh, me putting it back in as if it was a new bearing so we'll get on with that now and then we'll get on to the mower and putting everything back on there so yeah we can complete this job now i'm going to try and get this bearing into there but i have got one little issue my vice isn't really deep enough could do have been an inch deeper really to get this in but uh, i've got work with what i have so let's um, get that sort of in place there it's level there uh, i might have to sort of work it round as i um push it in see if you see there it's going a little bit i'm gonna to have to sort of work it round a little bit thing is i don't want to over squeeze it because i don't want to bend the the plate but it seems to be working like this getting there see how far we've got see we are getting there the other option was to uh, bang it in with a hammer didn't really particularly want to do that so actually if I, I think if I undo that now and I put the socket in, I think it's in enough to go in level now so let's just position that the best we can just a little bit trying to push it in i think it's gone now just work it round i think it's okay now let's have a look yep you can see it's all in all around there so that's gone in okay so yeah that's done so now we'll get back to the mower and get the blade brake clutch all back on but we like i said before i won't be using this bit i'll just keep this bit for a spare now yeah because that bearing isn't too bad really I could have gone with it again but anyway i've got this newer plate so i might as well go with that so i'll see you over on the workbench lift where the mower is so now i'm ready to get this blade brake clutch back on firstly we have a washer there that has to go on first and then we've got this piece there that's with that top bearing in and we have a spring there and a spring that side that one goes up high that one goes lower um, that one goes the lower one there goes on there and there's a little another bolt like that just there which a higher one goes on so how i do it is i push it on trying to hold that higher one up like so and then i'll that over the little the bolt there i will show you this a little bit better afterwards when it's in place so that one's there get the, this one in as well so they're both in now so now that's in place um the springs are in place hanging in place i've got to make sure they stay there um there's that bit there i've got to get that bit there behind that bit there you can't see it very well but there's a bracket on there i'll show you better in a minute and so what, how I do that is I turn this and make sure the springs stay in place. And as I turn it, I push it in at the same time like that. So that is in place now. So I'll just show you that close up before I fit anything else on. And also as well, actually, I will just put the cable in while I'm there. So that's back in place.
yep there we go the cable is still disconnected at the top so i'll just go and pull that through so it holds tight and it doesn't fall back off so now i'll show you them little bits um where the springs go and that little bracket there i'll show you that a little bit better so that's where the two springs locate there's a bolt there and then the top part just hooks into that plate that i just put on and it's the same the other side there's a bolt there and then yeah there's the where it hooks into it, the bottom there that's where the cable goes in and just next to it just see a little bracket bit so that's where that um, locates into so that's really the hardest bit the other bits just sort of slide on from now on uh, we have got some bolts in there though with some springs on so we'll get on to that bit now so now the next stage is this part here and it has got this bit on top I'll show you that and that has three ball bearings in and they fit in place there but I'll probably have to put it on with this plate bit uh, this is the yeah the original part that was on it. Just make sure them plastic little bushes are okay. Now okay on this, you can see under there that they're all good. So yeah, it goes on that way. And then I've got three little springs which are under here, just below, and then they hold all this in place. So let's get this place on there, sitting in this place there. And then I'll put that on. And then I'll start them your bolts with the springs on. So I'll get them in place. Just use the impact to wind them down. I'll just tighten them up by hand. Make sure they're tight. Don't be stupidly tight, they're not very big bolts really. 6 mil, I think. <laughs> 6 mil with a 10 mil head. Yep, so that's all good. So now they're all tight. So we've got um, the springs in place, as I showed you before. Cables in place. Um, that part with the ball bearings is in place. So we've got all that done. Now it's time for the little key to go in there. There we go, the key's there and the slot is there, so let's get that in place. And then we have this part to go on. So that has got the slot for the key in, so we'll get that done. Where are we? Yep, it's located in there, so it goes on nicely like that. So now that bit's on, we have the clutch plate, the new clutch plate to go on. So yeah the new clutch line is there if you can see that so we've got that and then as the spring goes underneath there and then this bottom plate goes on and it goes through them two holes as you bolt it together you see like that goes in there so this is a little bit of a trickier bit if you can get someone to hold this in place for you i'm going to try and do it because i haven't got no one on hand but it does make it a bit easier because that bearing there has to go over that bit there but you have to try and get the bolt in as you're sort of pressing it. So it is a little bit tricky. So if I can sort of get it in line and then just get the bolt started, conquered it then. Yeah, that went quite easy, that has started, but just Make sure as you're bolting it on, it doesn't go on a little bit off because it has to pull it over that bearing and it has to go, then pins have to go through them holes. Like through there. 
So let's see how we go in. Looks like it will be good. Feels like it's going all right. The engine's turning now, so I have to stop that happening, and then we can get it on. Uh, I could go up with the impact, but I'm not going to go up with the impact because I don't want to over tighten it. So what I'm going to probably do is just put a bit of recall rope down the plug hole, stop the engine turning, and then we can get this on. That's if it's in place on that bearing there. It should be. I just think because it's gone a little bit tighter now, the engine's turning. So let me saw that bit of. Um, pull cord in the plug hole and then we can get this tightened up. So hopefully I've got enough rope in the plug hole now so to stop this from engine from turning. And it seems to be going on to that um, bearing okay. Well the bearing seems to be slipping on to the uh, crank okay. Yeah that's going to be okay. So now that middle bolt is tight, uh, I've just double checked it with the breaker bar to make sure that's tight and it is tight. So the main culprit of the problem I had with this was that bearing there, as you can see, some of the ball bearings are missing and that was that one. But also, as you've seen, I've replaced that back plate with a as new one, which I had spare. And also the clutch plate is a brand new one as well. So that should be all spot on now and should be good to go. The only thing I have to do now is put the blade back on. You haven't got to see that uh, and connect the cable at the top and then we'll um, give it a try out and everything, hopefully, and I'm sure it will be, will be good. So as you've seen, the blade brake clutch is all done. So we'll just start it up now and you can see it working. just in it working and it's all working perfectly exactly as it should so yeah well pleased with that so that's uh, yeah a good job done so uh, I'll, I'll end the video here so thanks for watching and i'll be along with another video again soon so bye for now